Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems and today we've got one that looks pretty cool and special. So this is from the user Mr. Cool Man in Discord. Uh, they put, uh, FYI, this system may be a bit laggy, but that could be my potato of a computer. Hopefully my uh, my PC can handle it, because I have got quite a new one now, and it's pretty powerful. So hopefully that can uh, handle the uh, handle the power of it. But yeah, just looking at this one straight away, it's called the Gatch Troy system. And I've just looked on its Steam Workshop page, and my god, it does look pretty fancy. And if we just look here, it has, he has a special image for it as well so i hope he doesn't mind but i'm gonna try and actually use that for the fun now i think that'd look really cool but it's yeah the gat choice system and, and i'm looking on the workshop page he's got a lot of visitors here he's got over 174 people and 236 subscribers to this system so this system seems really popular on the workshop and i'm just looking at the images of it and it does look really good like he has took some really good like artistic pictures of it and stuff kind of like how i do my own thumbnails i always try and like to get really cool shots and angles but he's done the same and this is looking really interesting so let's see what he has prepared for us here this could be a really really good one so right the system may be a bit laggy okay it doesn't look like it is okay it looks like we're all right okay so the Gatch Troy system is a planetary system around 1.25 billion years old. The system had formed with 10 planets, but somehow managed to capture 5 other planets, bringing the total to 15. Okay, so the main planets are there, the captured planets, dwarf planets, and there's also a comet. Right, and then he leaves us to it. So, very nice. Okay, what have we got here then? Right, so, first of the planets. There's also like a comet here, what is this? So that one doesn't actually have a name, but there's a comet there. Right. So first is the planet. So this is one of the main planets. So here it is. It's looking pretty uh pretty earth-like already. Well, earthy-ish conditions. I mean, I wouldn't say earth-like looks quite desert actually, but it does have a bit of ocean on it. Maybe it's got a bit of life stats. Let's see, it's pretty hot here. 52 and 54. Okay, interesting. Let's look at its surface stats here. I mean, yeah, okay, pretty warm then. Yeah, 340. Right. It looks like quite a nice little desert world. We look underneath here. Yeah, it does look very deserty, doesn't it? So there it is there. Okay. So that's first of the planets. Right, moving on. So we have got this one next. So I'm not gonna try and pronounce that because I probably will completely butcher it. But here's the next one. So again it's a uh, kind of like a mix of Venus and Mars. It's the kind of analysis I get from this. So it's not too warm, it's actually minus degrees. Thick sort of uh Marsy like dusty atmosphere actually it does remind me of Mars. So there's that one. Next up we got uh this one. So we go we got a green one here. So looking good. Little patch of ocean there. Well I say ocean, little lake, I guess. So there's that. Okay, next up we got you uh Doris over here. So this is another uh, water world. A lot more oceans than the previous one, though. So look under here. Looks a little deserty as well. Not as orange as the previous one. Checking it. It's stats. 85 and 59. Okay, so there's better stats on this one. Okay. We also have Onay. So is that a moon burning? Yeah, it is. Okay. So it has one moon. And the moon actually looks really happy as well. Let's look at its stats there. 74 and 36. Nice. Okay. Right. Moving on next, what have we got? So we have got Rock Shalir here. So that's the comet. So that that's one of the other. That's the comet there. Okay. Nice. Okay, next up we've got this one here. Yeah, apologies. If I say these names, I will completely butcher them. So it's probably best not to even try. <laughs> so here's this one. So this one's looking pretty uh, blue. Looking underneath though. Not very blue at all, so just covered in a thick blue atmosphere. Kind of reminds me of some of the space engine planets that do that, actually, where they look blue, you go underneath the atmosphere, and there's no blue to be seen. So, no oceans here. And it's also got some uh, minor um, asteroid moons as well. Okay. And then one larger moon, maybe? Yep. Okay. So, there's that. Looking good. Right, next up. Okay, so we got List here. So, this is a dwarf planet. So we'll have a quick look at this guy. So yeah, pretty basic looking as we can see there. All right. All right, so moving on. So we've got this one next. So this is probably a gas giant. Yep, okay. So as you can see, lots of stuff going on around here. 
So if we look at all the moons, we'll try and highlight them, all the main ones. It looks like he's named the main ones here, so there they all are. Alright. So there they all are. Oh, that one looks pretty exotic. Look at this one. That's pretty exotic, isn't it? <laughs> so, very, very high levels of pink on it. It's got like a maroon red ocean going with it as well. That's a pretty cool looking one there. Very, very nice indeed. Okay. So there's those. All right. Uh, we've got a few more further out here as well, but that appears to be all of the major moons because he hasn't named the other ones. They're just asteroids. All right. Next up, we've got this one. This is a nice green one this time. Okay. Again, obviously got a lot of minor moons in there. Uh, then we look at the more major moons. So that's all these ones here. Alright. I've got a nice Titan-like one there. The thick atmosphere. Says all of those. Alright. Next up we got this green one. Nice. Okay, I'm just trying to... So... Is this one of the original planets? I'm just trying to see. Is it on this? Where is it on this list? Oh, that's one. Of, oh, okay. So, yeah, this is one of the originals. All right. Cool. So, one of the main planets. So, another green world. Okay. So, there's the uh, moons again. Quickly highlight through all of those. The moons kind of match the color of the planet, which is quite cool as well. All the green shades. Interesting. All right. Next up, we got Noah. I think I can roughly say that one. So this is a more blue and purpley shaded one. Tilted on its side are quite a lot like Uranus as well. And obviously a few moons around here too. So looking good. There we are. Nice. Okay. Right, next up. So Rocco Taurus. So this is the last of the main planets. So the next ones out are all captured planets. So that's the original 10 planets. So again, nice uh, shade of pink going with this one. Got a bunch of asteroid moons in there. And some of the more larger moons are here. So there's all of those. And then just a bunch of more uh, minor moons. Okay. Right, now we're going into the unknown territory. So captured planets. So past the orbit of the pink one now. So... We're looking for... I'm trying to work out where they all are, actually. Oh, wow, that's quite a lot of them, isn't they? Are they all in order, though? I don't know if they're in order. So, CIFU... Where is... Are they... Oh, how did I not see that? There it is. Okay, so this is the first of the captured planets. Pitch darkness. So, we'll have to look at this menu up here to really see them then. So, there's that one. Got a few moons as well. So there are those guys. Then we have this one, the next planet out. So that's an all uh, all white one. Got a lot, a lot of moons in this system. No wonder he had a some lag on his PC. But yeah, there's those. And we've got charm over here. So a nice blue gas world. Or blue and turquoise actually, okay. You wouldn't think it's the same planet if you look at one side and you look at the other. That's pretty cool. Uh, then we've got Bonk. So I think that's this one. So another gas world further out. It's picked up a lot of planets then. This one's got loads of moons as well. Right. Got a green moon there. That's pretty cool. Blue moon and a purple moon. Alright. And then a few more further out as well. Okay. And there's probably a few more minor moons there. And lastly, we have this one. Huaota. So that's the last of these. There's a lot of gas worlds in here then. Pretty cool. Nice. And I believe that's basically... There's obviously a few more asteroids and bits and bobs flying around. But yeah, that appears to be it. So there we are. So that is the Gatroy system. So very nice indeed. Very, very nice indeed. So if we got a lineup of the full list here, here we go. So gas worlds absolutely dominate this system. Look at all the gas worlds. Loads and loads of gas giants in here. So it looks like he likes his blues and greens. There's a lot of blues and greens in here. And there's a few pinks as well. But yeah, blues and greens 
definitely the uh, dominant colour in here for the gas worlds onto the rocky planet. So no truly Earth-like worlds. Got a few with water on them, but that's about it. And I'll see there's um, the rest of them. So moons, planets all in here as well. Quite an interesting bunch, actually. So uh, there they all are there. But yeah, there we are. So that is the Gatroy system. So yeah, really, really like the design on it, though. He's made them look very glowy in his pictures as well. They look really cool. So... There you go, that does it for this system. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, that was submitted by the user McCoolman um, in Discord. So massive thank you to them for uh, submitting this. And yeah, if that all said and done, guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Let's see if we can go for 50 likes on today's video as well, guys, for this system. Really, really cool system. And yeah, if that all said and done, make sure to subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 25,000 subscribers. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.